Well, let's talk about retopology patches using our retopology brush. So together with the retopology brush, it ships with over 200 patches, or what we call geometry patches. And these are default geometry sections that we've included over here on the top. And you can see we have some default patches of geometry. We have this separated by folders. So we have all, which includes all of the patches that we've released with the retopology brush. But we also have it spread out by different topics. So we have squares and grids. We have circles, half circles. We have a whole human tab, which means you have your most regular like edge loops for like a mouth, for the eyes, left eye, right eye, left ear, right here, the eyebrow, the side neck, and everything you might need for facial topology, at least to start with. So how do we actually use these patches on our surface? So first and foremost, this works very similarly to how creating geometry from scratch works, meaning that we have to actually click a point on the surface. And now we have that temporary vertex over there. And now if I want to create that topology, all I need to do is hover over the vert and hold Alt and then just drag that patch over there. I'm going to actually drag a different patch. Maybe I don't want this. I can change my patches on the fly without having to redraw them. Now, let's say I want this weird patch over here. Let's say this uh, patch V08. Now, after we've drawn this on the surface, we can move it around, scale it around by clicking and dragging on these corner dots over here. We can press the top one to actually stretch and squash that surface. The same thing goes for the left and right one. And we can make a little patch of geometry like this. Now, the moment I tap on that surface, it becomes let's say final topology, but there's a different trick to this. So let me drag another one out like this. And now if I go over here and hold alt over one of these edges, I can actually start creating topology around that bounding box, which means effectively that I have the ability to tweak this as if it's a deformer from like the gizmo deformers. So I can start manipulating this, to make this match my surface and my topology a little bit better. And then when I'm ready, I can just tap that. And now we have our final topology snapped to the surface. This works particularly well if we have, let's say, a human face with multiple subtools. And then let's say we want to have that eyebrow. So let's go ahead and look for that brow. Hold Alt, drag that out. And now we have at least a base that we can start working with. So I can move this patch around and it's still snapping to the surface while maintaining its default shape. So I can move it around to make it match more my surface and then tap Alt. And now I can add some lattice points over here and I can start moving around these points to make them match my current character or my current face a little bit better. So now once I tap that surface, we have an adapted geometry patch that works with any character, any surface that we're actually building. This could also be used for hard surface, for environmental props, any sort of work that you're doing. So this was an introduction to the patch system in ZBrush for iPad. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.